One of the most important parts of getting your RV ready for the cold season is winterizing your water system. This is extremely important when temperatures outside dip below freezing. If the water in your supply lines or water heater freeze, then the ice can expand and cause breakage to your system. There are two methods of winterizing your RV. The first method will utilize an air hose to blow excess water from the system. Drain the water from the water heater. Drain the fresh water tanks. Run the water pump until it is dry. This will take approximately 15 to 20 seconds. Using an air hose adapter, blow air through the city water connection. One by one, open each faucet. Leave them open until all water is evacuated from the faucet. This may take a few minutes. Don't forget to open the valves on the toilet or any outside shower. Pour a cup of non-toxic RV antifreeze into all drain traps on your sinks, tub, or showers. Also make sure all your holding tanks are emptied. The second method involves purging your system with antifreeze. A water heater bypass kit, available on most units, will help to avoid filling the entire water heater with antifreeze. Note, do not drink water that contains antifreeze. This includes non-toxic RV antifreeze. Do not use automotive antifreeze or windshield washer antifreeze in your fresh water system, for these are harmful to the water system and may be fatal if swallowed. To begin, close valves A, B, and D, then open valves E and C as indicated on this chart. Then drain the water heater and fresh water tanks. Put the hose from valve E into a jug of non-toxic RV antifreeze. You will need more than one gallon of antifreeze. Turn on the pump. Open each faucet until the antifreeze flows through. Do not forget to run the antifreeze through the toilets as well. When finished, close valve E. Finally, pour non-toxic RV antifreeze into all drain traps and make sure the holding tanks are emptied. Before using the water again, drain and flush the system. Close valve C and open valves D, A, and B. Make sure you remember to thoroughly sanitize and flush the entire water system. For complete details on your specific unit, please refer to your owner's manual.